Good day, grade 7 students. Welcome to our online learning discussion. This is our subject, Social Studies, and your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. Before we proceed with our online discussion, I would like to have a short recap or review of the last topics that we have discussed. The first one is Christianity. What is Christianity? World's largest religion with about 2.2 billion followers worldwide. Religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ, who lived about 2,000 years ago. Followers of Christianity are called Christian. The second topic that we had, Islam. What is Islam? Islam shares its roots with Judaism and Christianity. Islam is a spiritual path and contains law, ethics, and theology. It speaks of surrender to God and the peace, health, and well-being that submission brings. So these were the two topics we have. Objectives of the lesson. First, students will be able to know about Hinduism. And the second one, students will be able to know about Sikhism. So for you students to be able to know about Hinduism and Sikhism, please, and I suggest that you watch the entire video from the start to the end. And if you have any question, you can always send me a message in our Google Classroom account or in my personal line account. The topics that we have for today are about Hinduism and Sikhism. Before we proceed with our discussion, let us read the words to learn. Please repeat after me so you can still practice your listening skills and your reading skills as well as your speaking skills even if you're just at home. Let's start reading now. Number one, Hinduism. Number two, Sikhism. Number three, Buddhism. Number four, shrine. And the last one, temple. What is Hinduism? Hinduism is one of the oldest religions of humanity. The religion of the Indian people gave birth to Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. Tolerance and diversity. Truth is one, paths are many. Many deities but a single, impersonal, ultimate reality, a philosophy and a way of life. Focus both on this world and beyond. Second word is Sikhism. Basics of Sikhism. It is the world's youngest religion. Its founder was born in 1469. The Sikhs have 10 gurus. Gurus in English means teacher. The Sikhs called God Wahe Guru. Guru Granth Sahib is their holy book. The Sikhs worship only one God in his abstract form. According to the Sikh beliefs, God is the eternal truth. Their common salutation is Satsiri Akao. Now class, let's go to the next word, Buddhism. What is Buddhism? Buddhism is a major world religion. It is the fourth largest religion of the world and has about 300 million followers. It helps people by providing a way of life that will lead to true happiness. The next word is shrine. So this is what a shrine looks like and it is the religious place of six people. Next word, temple. So this is how a temple looks like class. Temple is the religious place for Buddhist people, not only for Buddhist people, but also Sikh people and Hindu people. So these are the words to learn that we have. Let's read again. Hinduism, Sikhism, Buddhism, Shrine, and Temple. These are the names of students who did not do PA1 and PA2 yet. So please, if your names are here, please do your PAs as soon as you can. Thank you. Again, class, these are the names of the students who did not do PA1 and PA2 yet. If your names are here, please do your PAs as soon as you can. 
Thank you. Hinduism is the third largest religion in the world, with more than one billion adherents globally. It ranks just below Christianity and Islam, and is considered to be one of the world's oldest active religions. So where did it all start? What's the history of Hinduism? First and foremost, Hinduism doesn't have one specific set of teachings, nor a specific holy doctrine or founder, though it may have originated as far back as 3000 BCE with the Indus Valley Civilization near the current border of Pakistan and India. Although Hinduism is commonly classified as a religion, it is also considered a philosophy and a culture, because the belief system has no standard method of practice. It's considered to be one of the most tolerant religions in the world. Hinduism is closely associated with other Eastern religions. In fact, Hinduism incorporated concepts like karma and reincarnation around the same time that similar concepts emerged in Buddhism and Jainism. These ideas deal with the cycle of life and rebirth, as well as the consequences of a person's actions. Another major distinguishing feature of Hinduism, compared to most other active religions, is its belief in multiple deities. The primary three are Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma, but there are many others. However, some Hindus consider these deities to be manifestations of a single cosmic spirit called Brahman, who is genderless and omnipotent. Many Hindus also consider the ancient Vedic texts to be sacred. The scripture was written in Sanskrit around 1000 BCE as a hymn to the gods. Within the Veda, multiple major and minor deities are described, including Indra, the king of gods, and Vishnu, a protector god. Today, Hindus recite verses from this text ritualistically during weddings and funerals. Currently, about 15% of the world's population subscribes to Hinduism, with roughly 99% percent of Hindus residing in India and Nepal. In nations like Mauritius, Fiji, and Guyana, Hindus also constitute a large minority. In America, there are also about 2 million Hindus who make up about half a percent of the population. Hinduism started in South Asia and continues to thrive there. India's relationship with Hinduism is deep with the Hindu nationalist Indian People's Party currently wielding power. India's prime minister is also the latest in a long line of predominantly Hindu leaders. By 2050, Hinduism is expected to grow by 34% to about 1.4 billion adherents globally. However, as its influence is limited outside Asia, the religion will most likely stay in the number three spot behind Christianity and Islam for a long time to come. Now, class, let us discuss our first topic for today, which is about Hinduism. Please open your books on page 84. Hinduism came from India. It's the world's oldest religion. It has no founders. Hindus are followers of Hinduism. All Hindus believe in three main gods called Trimurti or Great Trinity in English. They are Brahma means creator, Vishnu means preserver, and Shiva means destroyer. Vedas are the holy book of Hindus. Class, everything that you see here in your mon monitor or in your computer, please highlight it on your book because everything that I wrote in here is the same as your book. If you did not see a word in here it means i did not include it because it's not that important so please highlight only the words or the sentences that you see in here now let's proceed to the second one temples and shrines are where religious ceremonies are held in hinduism there is a Hindu temple in Thailand called Siri Maha Uma Devi Temple or Siri Mariaman Temple on Silom Road. But because of pandemic, it is now closed, temporarily closed. Hindu pay respect to the images of gods and goddesses. Hindu priests are called Brahmins. They lead the prayer and religious ceremonies. In Thailand, Brahmins lead royal ceremonies such as the royal birthday ceremony and the royal plunging ceremony. Class, again, everything that you see here, sentences, please highlight on your book. If you did not see some words 
in here that are in your book, please do not include them in your highlight because it means they are not that important. Let's proceed to discussing about Sikhism. The first K is the color, which is a steel bangle. Notice how it's a perfect circle? This symbolizes the way in which divine energy has no beginning and no end. We wear this on the wrist and it reminds us to keep truth, strength and integrity. It emphasizes the Sikh motto of no fear and no hate. Sikhs have a duty to defend the weak, to stand for justice and human rights. So we have the second K, which is a Kirpan. This is a ceremonial sword. It signifies our commitment to justice and is a symbol of religious freedom. The third K is the Kashera, which is a pair of underpants. Underpants with religious significance. The Kashera were originally worn by Sikh soldiers and they represent self-restraint, chastity and purity. The fourth K is all about hair. Throughout history, hair has been regarded as a symbol of strength and holiness. Sikhs think of their hair as a blessing and they practice kesh, which means not cutting their hair. A Sikh's kesh is always covered, which is why you see so many Sikh men and women wearing turbans. This is a religious requirement for Sikhs and it's like a uniform. It means we can always be recognized and stand out to help others in need. The longer your hair is, the more important it is to keep it clean. So we use the fifth K, the Kanga, which is a wooden comb. It's used to detangle the hair, keep it neat, but also reminds us to generally practice good hygiene and keep a tidy appearance. The word Sikh means disciple or student. A Sikh is someone who is learning and on a journey. People can be at different stages of their journey. Not all Sikhs will have every one of these five Ks as part of their external identity. The important thing for every Sikh to remember is to invest in their spiritual development, to practice compassion towards everyone, everywhere, at all times. Sikhism. Please open your books class on page 86 so we can start reading now. One of the world's youngest religion is Sikhism. Originated also in India, like Hinduism and Buddhism, it has 11 followers. So class, this is the symbol for Sikhism. Guru Nanak was the first founder. So this is how Guru Nanak looks like. The holy scripture of Sikhism is called Guru Granth Sahib. So this is the book of Sikhism named after Granth Sahib. Guru means teacher. Sikhs are commonly seen in turbans and wear heavy metal bracelets. So this one class is the turban. It covers the hair because hair is very sacred for Sikh people. The longer the hair is, it's more sacred. Sikhs worship in Gurdwara or Sikh temples. The word Gurdwara means gateway to the Guru. The most important Gurdwara is called Harmandir Sahib, located in India. So this is Harmandir Sahib. The two religious objects are the image of Guru Nana, the founder, and the holy book Guru Granth Sahib, the scripture of Sikhism. A committee is appointed to take care of Sikh activities in a community. So this is the symbol for Sikhism committee. In Thailand, this committee is called Thai Sikh Organization and this is what the symbol looks like. Now class, it's time for me to give you activity and your activity is in your social studies book, pages 85 and 87. Please remember, take a picture of your social studies books 
pages 85 and 87 after answering the activity. And after taking the picture, upload it on the social studies album I created in your line group so I can download them, I can check them right away and send it back to you. Good luck and thank you so much. Class, we now come to the end of our discussion. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any question about our topic or about the past topics that we have, you can always send a message in our Google Classroom account or in my personal line account. Thank you so much and see you again in our next virtual class. Stay safe, everyone.